Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now hello parents, toy collectors or whoever may be watching this, it's your good pal Oz here and we're going to be opening up a box warrior today, uh, which, which is cool, anyone can do that, we've opened up a ton in the past, but like I said, anyone can do this, but uh, it takes a special kind of amazing toy reviewer to actually break open the box and see what kind of makes it tick. Like, yeah, you because know, I don't know if you've seen any previous videos, but when you open these up, there's a kind of like a little platform that raises up and, and reveals the toy. And as far as I know, like I've been opening these for a few months now and the batteries don't, if it has batteries, the batteries are still staying strong or maybe it's a spring, maybe it's magic, maybe it's some sort of kind of mechanical marvel, <laughs> who knows. But uh, what we're going to do, we're going to open up the box after getting the toy out and we're going to check out to see how it works. Even if we have to smash it with an axe or use like uh, screwdrivers or anything, I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this mystery. But uh, first up, we got to, <laughs> I have all the stuff but I don't have a knife to open this. But, oh, Oh, good news we don't need a knife okay so let's start ripping now you can see all the guys there who's available to um, collect we have most of them we don't have the golden sir bash a lot yet uh, we don't have mr. fluffins I think his name is yeah mr. fluff fluffkins he's the one I've been looking for for a while um, so yeah hopefully we'll find him today I'm gonna take that off the bottom now we've got to take this cellar tape off, but it's a bit scary because if I push down to take the tape off, then it triggers the um, mechanism. There we go. Okay, who needs a knife? Not me. Okay, now let's move the camera a little bit lower so we can see it in all its glory. Now we want to see the warrior. We'll just do a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, this looks like Terrasaur. Out he comes. Okay, he slowed down a bit at the end there. Now we do, I did make a mistake with the camera. There we go, that's better. So there he is in the box, all revealed. Now we'll get him out of here, which I will need a knife for. So I will get that knife and we'll cut all these straps and get him out. Aha, okay, it was actually right behind me. Now let's cut, oh, oh. I think there's a better way of doing this, but I ain't got time for that. There we go, there's that out. Now I'll get this all. Okay, hey, this had uh, tape. I don't think they usually have tape holding it down as well. Okay, so that's that. So this is the box we're gonna open up in a second, or, or, or break, or whatever we need to do. Um, now let's quickly check out the Pterosaur card. Here we go, they're looking very cool. So we've got a few of these now, well, one for every character, of course. Uh, tells us a little bit about their strength, defense, agility, uh, brains and tech. This guy has like zero brains and zero technology, but he's full of grit, which is kind of all that matters. Um, I'll read just the first paragraph. Uh, Pterosaur was the most feared violent vegetarian in alternate rel alternative, uh, alternate reality where the meteor mist and dinosaurs continue to evolve. Okay, cool. He'll fight to the death or for a plate of broccoli. Okay, nice, awesome. Okay, that's all we need about that. We'll slot that in the little slot there for cards. And now let's get into Pterosaur himself. Okay, oh, and we gotta check out his weapon. So we'll do, and I will look at him first. So look, his head spins around, which is cool. So he's got some good head movement. He's got orange eyes, which is kind of rare. You don't see much of that, but I guess we don't have dinosaurs around, so that could be why. Uh, arms go up and down, which is good. He's got some good movements there. Uh, legs looking nice. Okay, check out his back. He's got these awesome kind of back plates, which is nice. And he's cool. Okay, now we'll put him. Where will you see him? Put him there. Put him there. Now, time to see if he has. So, if he has a metallic or holographic weapon, that's what we're looking for. So, three, two, one. It is just normal, not metallic, not holographic, but he's got this awesome shield and this kind of like, I don't know, fist knife thing. I'll show you. He holds it and when he kind of like punches dudes, it uh, cuts their face open. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and we'll give him a shield. And there we go. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, well, there we go. Very cool, so there's Pterosaur, so we'll put him over here. Now it's time 
to get to business and check out what is in this box or how it works. So I'll quickly show you what we know about it so far. So if you push it down, it locks into place. And then if you push down on the doors, which I can do, it then triggers it to come up. Like so. Now push it down again. And usually when you're pushing down on the doors, just so you fully understand it, that pushes on this little thing here. And that's what makes it come up. Like so. So what we'll do is uh, we'll get all the tools out and we'll start cut. Oh look, looks like we just have to unscrew it at the bottom too. So we'll do that. If we, if we need to smash something, I won't hesitate to smash it. <laughs> but it looks like we just got to unscrew it. So let's get everything ready and we'll pull it apart. Now we're ready to rumble. So we've got <laughs> the stage is all set for our destruction. Um, and now we, 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 we could just like smash it with a hammer a little bit. Whoa, okay that was noisy. Uh, but we better just do like the obvious thing and uh, unscrew it. So let's start with power drill. Not gonna fit. The screws are too small. Let's just try normal screws. Nope. We need like a little screwdriver. So let's pull out the big guns. Here we go. Now we need screwdriver bits. I think this is a good one. Put that in here, and does it fit? Yes! Okay, so let's see how easy this is gonna be. So there's one done. Now this could take a little while, so let's fast forward until they're all out. Okay, now onto our last one. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen my channel before, uh, I'm gonna do more like this. Uh, I've done one where I cut open Ushis to see what's inside Ushis. Uh, but I'm gonna do kind of like open up more things and break more things uh, because it's interesting. Any, any old turkey can um, review toys, but it's kind of fun to break them and pull them apart and see what's inside. So I'm gonna do more like this because it's kind of cool. Um, anyway, now let's see what's inside here. Okay, I broke a little spring. So I think this spring was on there, just so we can see it before it's all kind of busted up. Like so. Kind of cool. So what we can see, okay, and before there, there were these two things here, which would have been pushing against that and that, for whatever that does. But I don't see any kind of battery area or anything like that, so let's get those out. I think this is broken forever by now, so that's, that's okay, we can pull out more things. Uh, let's pull apart this and see what the circle bit does. Because yeah, I still, I still just don't understand, whoa, okay, that was important. <laughs> So that was kind of holding it in place so it doesn't kind of keep going up and down. Okay, so I'm going to have to hold it with my hand, I think. Let's keep unscrewing until we have it all apart and we totally kind of know what is or is not inside this. Because, yeah, I, I, I can only imagine there'll be like a coiled, coiled up spring somewhere, maybe. Um, or... Okay, that's kind of cool. Or look, there's something like moving around in there. Or uh, maybe it's like little animals trapped inside and they power it. Maybe it was a spring, I don't know, but I want to get to the bottom of this. But I'm pretty sure now that, okay, this is going to explode off, I think. I can feel the pressure pushing against these screws here. So, almost done. Okay, I think that one's out. Something's holding it still. Okay, there we go. And what is this? Okay, it is broken. So <laughs> whatever was holding that in place is now gone. Let's just unscrew these. Okay, here we go. Oh. Now, can I like get this out yet? Oh, there we go, okay, it's all falling to pieces now. So these last screws just hold 
the platform on, but we've kind of already started taking them off, so we'll finish it up. Okay, I think that's that one off. And then this last one, and that will be everything totally disassembled. Then we can just kind of take a look and piece it together. Maybe, maybe, if, if we need to. And maybe, maybe beyond our comprehension. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, so. I still can't get the platform out, but maybe we can do some breaking. So, how do we break this further? Let's get that out of the way. I think it's hammer time. You guys ready for some hammering? <laughs> this is just to get this, ah, um... oh, there is more screws there. Ah, oh, I don't, yeah, well, that's going to be hard to unscrew. So, yeah, I think it's hammer time. We'll just smash it. Three. Okay, block, block ears, this could be loud. Three, two, one. Okay, this box is hard. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Okay, that is not breaking as easily as I hoped. But, that's okay, we might just leave it in there. Or, actually, no, I'll, I'll pause the video and we'll quickly pull those last two screws out. All right, I've changed my mind about getting those last two screws out. That's gonna be a pain in the bum, so, Instead, we'll, uh, I still think we can get it somehow. It's totally not necessary, but it's good to know we've kind of got everything out. I'm hoping now to, um, how can we do this? I want to kind of get something under here and uh, lever it out. Oh, there we go. We can just see what I'm doing. Push it down. There we go. It snapped. Okay, that's cool. Now... I don't know what snapped from where, but something, there's a track there without anything going up and down it. That's cool. So this is just like the empty box now with the doors. And the door's still shut, which is cool. Okay, that's good. We'll put that to the side. This is the base here. So these, like so there's two there and then two here and somehow this was holding every had a little bar they had a little bar under there like like that and that was I think you can see it then this would hold the bar down and that's kind of what the track was running along or gripping into I can't do it properly but there you go um, now, some cool things fell out. So that was holding it into place and did something. <laughs> now here we go, this is, this is the motor. This is like the brains of it all. So, if you wind it down, here we go. This is what we're looking for. It's quite strong, this little thing. But you could use this. If you were into building stuff, you could use this, because there's a lot of force in this. I've seen a lot of weak ones, but as you can see, it's kind of really really pushing back against me uh, yeah it's hard to kind of explain but that that takes a bit of muscle to uh, spin that around um, and it's pushing power would be really strong uh, yeah that's cool um, I don't know how I can demonstrate how strong this is but it yeah, definitely near the end it's getting uh oh yeah so you could use that for any kind of wind-up toy or anything you want to make. That's kind of cool. But otherwise, this this is the bat. This is the, like so. It's not battery operated. It's kind of just like a wind-up thing. So pushing it down will, will add tension to it and charge it up. And then when you push the button, it somehow releases it. And then this is what kind of like pushes the thing up. Oh no, it'll be that way. Pushes the thing up that way. I don't know, maybe it was upside down. But uh, yeah, there you go. So I can't explain it. It's kind of um, a bit beyond me. I'm no engineer. But this is the main power source inside what was controlling that. So cool. Anyway, guys, we've made a big mess. We've got a new uh, pterosaur toy. Uh, now, guys, I hope you enjoyed the movie or the video. So if you did, like always, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. 
subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, leave comments, let me know if you want me to do this with other kind of toys. Even if you want me to like break up these guys and see how they work and see what they look like inside. Anything, for any toy, just let me know. Um, otherwise, if I've lost comments, because they're going to disappear any day now, then uh, add me on Instagram because I do upload lots of photos and you can also communicate with me that way and say hi and you know, how's your dog, that kind of stuff. But guys, until next time, have a great week. Take care of yourself and I'll catch you next time.